Look out, look out, there's a drama llama about. You put a llama in the back of there. Owen, oh, cheers, mate. Give him CM Punk's head. Give him CM Punk's head. The drama llama. <laughs> You haven't got to do headlines for this one, so give you something to do. CM Punk flavoured news once more. So yesterday, Ross, you missed all the fun of this, CM Punk. Oh, I was, I was on the edge of my sofa just going, hey, <laughs> we're back once again. So CM Punk, as you know, uh, made some comments about Hangman Page after uh, Hangman Page was told uh, to stay away from the Greensboro Coliseum where a collision took place. Uh, this also, alongside this, was Ryan Nemeth being uh, flown into the Coliseum for collision and then being sent home again. And a lot of people can say that's down to some interactions that Punk and Ryan Nemeth had a while ago. Um, let's get a little update on this from Fightful, shall yeah, we? Yeah, we'll split this up into CM Punk versus X. <laughs> so like, this oh, is the, done that. the CM Punk versus Ryan Nemeth portion of the card on this CM Punk <laughs> wankathon that is this wrestling card. Anyway, Ryan Nemeth, who is, of course, the, the brother of Dolph Ziggler, was sent home from AEW Collision on Saturday, possibly due to an altercation with CM Punk some months ago. Fightful Select added more details according to those familiar with the situation, Punk approached Nemeth when the two were uh, at the Chicago Dynamite, where Punk was asked to be at. Punk spoke to Nemeth and asked him to make good on his literally the softest man alive tweet. For God's sake, social media is not real, CM Punk. Uh, the two moved out of the locker room and into a hallway where the, 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 those close to Punk claim that Nemeth said he was working to get heat. Fair enough. So it is not real once again. Uh, Punk believed that the tweet Nemeth uh, was trying to score points with his friends and asked him to knock it off because tensions were high and they were trying to move on. <laughs> Stop getting stressed! But don't come to the arena, but I'll mention you anyway. <laughs> we're moving on! Um, he said that he didn't want Nemeth being passive-aggressive unless they were hand uh, handling it another way. People close to Punk claim that Nemeth apologised and the two shook hands. Now, PW Torch sources have added some additional details to this confrontation. The story conveyed to PW Torch is that CM Punk cornered Nemeth in the locker room, got inches from his face and angrily and aggressively asked if they had a problem or if they needed to settle things. No drama. Outside. No drama. But no <laughs> drama. <laughs> Punk cited to Nemeth that his comments on Twitter inflamed existing tensions and optics of the tweet sent a bad message to corroborate what Five or Select say. This incident was witnessed by numerous wrestlers and was characterized as awkward and weird, which is what I've been called in <laughs> numerous social events. I've been called it for eight years now, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, back to Five for Low, they say that Ryan Nemeth, despite an apparent apology, is a persona non grata at AEW Collision. Uh, they said it was confirmed to us that Punk didn't want Nemeth on Collision, even eating in catering, but no drama, uh, much less <laughs> wrestling on the show. It wasn't clarified to us if that was because of his tweets or the relationship with the elite. Uh, we've made an effort to reach out to Nemeth, but he's off social media. Yeah, I believe he's, 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 he's deactivated all his socials. As you probably would, I guess. Maybe it is real when it becomes a massive drama. Maybe. <laughs> Here comes a new challenger! <laughs> it's CM Punk versus Christopher Daniels! Mm -hmm. So, Come on. since yesterday, it was also revealed that AEW's head of talent relations, Christopher Daniels, uh, is also steering clear of Saturday nights. Five will select Nick Houseman and PW Insider say um, that this is a call partly by CM Punk, who says that since Ace Steel, his buddy isn't allowed in the arena as a result of the fallout from the all-out brawl out, then Christopher Daniels sh shouldn't be round collision. But <laughs> but the bit big difference. <laughs> Christopher Daniels is essentially the talent handler. Christopher Daniels is the man the talent go to if they're unhappy with something in the company. That's the talent relations role. But CM isn't Punk's it? there for that because there's no drama on Saturday night. <laughs> CM Punk is head of talent relations on a Saturday night. Don't come and do your job so I can be happy. <laughs> this, I mean, uh, to, to play devil's avocado on this, CM Punk is looking at this and going, well, hang on, the guy who was on my side is being told to WFH. Why isn't he? That doesn't seem right. Why are some of these characters allowed to come back to what they were doing, but my mate isn't? So that's, that's you know, that's me playing Devil's Avocado. Here comes a new challenger! Well, it's a handicap match this time <laughs> because it's CM Punk versus Matt Hardy and Isaiah Cassidy. Oh, yeah! Mm, so, <laughs> to give him his catchphrase. That is his just catchphrase. <laughs> Five Select, Five Select is saying that two other names may also be staying away from Collision, and those being, of course, Hardy and Cassidy. They've confirmed that both were supposed to be at recent AEW Collision episodes. Their travel was booked and then unbooked. 
They were scheduled to be at this pat. They weren't scheduled to be part of this week's episode of Collision, but they have been scheduled to be at previous ones. The talent that have been pulled are of the belief that it was CM Punk, but we haven't heard specifically that that's the case. The same suspicion is part of the domino effect that led to where we are now, dating back to speculation that Colt Cabana was not going to be re-signed by AEW. Yes, there's more to this from the Observer. They say that CM Punk camp has claimed that did not get Adam Page or Matt Hardy booted from the recent Collision shows, but a number of reports said that he did so with Christopher Daniels, who is the head of talent relations. So we don't know why Matt Hardy and Isaiah Cassidy did, weren't there then, I, I assume, I guess. Mm, it's, it, it might have been CM Punk, but he claims it wasn't. Some are saying that it's Punk because obviously because, because Hardy and Cassidy maybe have a more of a, an alignment with the with the elite than, than he. So therefore he's going, okay, I don't want any drama from anybody. So you all stay over there. Uh, <laughs> as I create the drama myself. <laughs> I'm doing all the drama here. We should say, this news is obviously, you know, it, 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 it must be difficult to read if you're watching, like, as an AEW talent, maybe, who wants to get booked on Collision. But Collision has been really bloody good. It's been really so good. So this is all working in terms of the fans' point of view of what we're seeing on the television screen. So maybe it's not all that bad. <laughs> Maybe. It's just a long way around to a good time. <laughs> it's the scenic route yeah. to, the, to the chalet <laughs> in St. Jean de Mont. Uh, final boss, it oh is, of God. course, CM Punk and Hangman Adam Page. Uh, this was the talking point from yesterday. Uh, we've had some additional uh, bits and pieces from this, haven't we, sir? Yeah, Peter Insider added some additional context there, saying Adam Page lives locally in the Greensboro area and don't uh, doesn't want to be sent home. Uh, we are told that there was a promo that was to be shot, but it wasn't shot at the arena. Punk co Punk's comments obviously fed into the Hangman story. The word making the rounds is Punk felt badly about the comments after the fact. This is what he was saying after the show. Uh, that was making the rounds in AEW, <laughs> although we don't know whether the two have spoken. Nick uh, Hausman there corroborates that story as well. Uh, just to add in for here, uh, Voices of Wrestling's flagship wrestling podcast. Give us an update on that just before we came downstairs, revealing that CM Punk has apologised to Hangman for the comments by text message stating that Punk was, wasn't happy with the way that he delivered his post-collision promo he felt he shouldn't have touched upon merchandise sales uh, so punk did the speech on the mic he sent adam page a little i'm um, sorry text you know but it was there was a great phrase that somebody used where they said the apology should be as loud as the action who was it that said oh see i'm <laughs> we'll have to say after after saturday's collision if he's in the ring going hang on <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is a bit yeah, of a joke. There's, there's still a Saturday night there as well. <laughs> Five or slate also add that Punk claims to people that he still wants to sit down with Hangman Page, Young Bucks, and Kenny Omega, but they refuse. Those we spoke to say that Hangman Page generally avoids the situation and has not been interested in working with Punk in like, over the last year or so. The situation was not a work on Hangman's end as of publishing this article, but many on Collision have said that they believe Punk is trying to work himself into an angle. Those close with the elite say that these situations make them want to distance themselves more. It's such an interesting one because there is all the noise from the CM Punk point of view, but there's no real noise from Hangman's point of view. Page has said nothing. Yeah. He has said squat from the beginning. And, and that's kind of been his... I think, the, I think the closest we got to something was when they did they they did a bit on being the elite where Hangman Page was pretending to be distracted backstage with the Dark Order when Punk was calling him out. Yeah. And I don't know whether, like... I, I'm not, like I said, we're only here, we're hearing bits from numerous sources, numerous very trusted sources uh, around the business and, and, and others about this. But I don't know whether the fact that Paige doesn't take the bait is annoying. <laughs> it's why I didn't see him punk more and more, it yeah. seems. It seems. It's a hard thing to grasp, isn't it, everybody? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Silence is incredibly powerful. Mm. Where's Tony Khan in all this? You know, the guy who runs the company. Yeah, so Tony Khan, otherwise known as CM Punk's bitch, was on the Battleground <laughs> podcast and declined to comment about the situation, but said, I'm, people, I'm glad people are still very interested in our, in our wrestlers and what's happening after the wrestling show. I think I'm going to try and have a couple of great shows this week, but certainly there's been a lot of interest in what's happening in AEW in and out of the ring. kind of hoped that, you know, we'd be talking about Wembley this week, not Ryan Nemeth. No disrespect to Ryan Nemeth. <laughs> a banger performer. No disrespect, but I kind of thought we'd be talking more about Wembley. Yeah, maybe. You know, but hey, what, what do I know? I am running a business. Now, PW Torch ran an exclusive report about CM Punk and AEW Collision yesterday with some interesting backstage reactions and observations in it as well. They say Punk has received good reviews for his leadership behind the scenes. He is fiercely protective of Collision being a low <laughs> drama environment. Not a no drama environment 
environment, a low drama, which is his drama and nobody else's drama. No one else's drama, but low drama all the same. Got to be on the drama amateur, <laughs> ever so slightly. Just, just his drama, though. <laughs> <laughs> of course, um, which is why he doesn't want wrestlers he perceives as a disloyal, as disloyal or too closely aligned with the elite crew to be backstage at Collision. Cheers, mate. Alanis Morissette's crying. <laughs> he sees Collision as his show and his chance to provide the type of leadership that he is critical of the executive vice presidents for not providing on Dynamite. But has extended to Punk that having essentially veto power over who could be present backstage at Collision events. I think the word, and we've said this, Collision's really good. Yeah. It's an odd news video to be making this one because it sounds like we're having a go at CM Punk, but in terms of the, the, t the television we, we product and nothing else. We're, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to get some <laughs> horrible messages today from, from CM Punk 1244. <laughs> it's happened before, it'll happen again. <sighs> Come at us, lads, let's go. Um, now, now, and, and, but, but Collision has been really good. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that we do kind of add a little bit of that. You've got to tell us this bit about Tony Khan. This so, comes from PW Torch. Not us. <laughs> Wrestlers are in an awkward position when it comes to speaking out against Punk in any way since Tony Khan has made it clear he's not only a big part of AEW's business strategy, but also that Khan himself is personally, and nobody ever could have guessed this after watching the All Out press conference last year for starters, Tony Khan is personally a big fan of Punk. When Punk first returned early this summer after his hiatus, dating back to the prize years All Out, uh, the media Q&A thingy, Khan stood up backstage, Tony Khan stood up backstage, in the gorilla position with his headset on and started pumping his fist and chanting CM Punk! CM Punk! Enthusiastically as Punk walked by. The feeling backstage among wrestlers not in a position of power with a big contract is to, is to lay low when it comes to Punk because you don't, you don't want to be what, on what is essentially his enemies list and therefore I guess by a sort of de facto reasoning on Tony Khan's enemy list as well. You, well I've been on one, you're on both. <laughs> When I read that first, all I could think about was that scene from Cars. <laughs> Lightning McQueen! <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I've never seen cars. I'm just picture it though. Does it mean that it's the, it's the little baby car watching Lightning McQueen going around the track? <laughs> Lightning McQueen! <laughs> 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 That's from the torch. Read the whole article. It's a thing. Well, I'm glad that we spent the last 10 minutes or so talking about how little drama there is on AEW Collision. What must the elite be thinking if they've... If they've read that and that's been corroborated as real by different sources, what are the elite thinking if their boss, who is, you know, in the middle of the war, he would have to think, maybe, mm -hmm. is going, see, do you reckon he's going, be elite, be, be elite, when they walk in, do you reckon? I don't think he is, do you? I hope, maybe, maybe he has to. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. Just any wrestler who walks by, I'm a cutie marshal man. I don't know. The, ju the jury's very much out and you will have your own opinions on uh, CM Punk and his standing in AEW. Uh, Ross and I did a list of the best AEW heels, unrelated. Uh, you can watch that on the YouTube channel right now. The tier list, I think, has divided some people. I think uh, the way that we did it, I think, is a conversation in itself, isn't it? Yeah, well, we did it just based on crowd reaction, which I thought was the main barometer of what's a heel and what's not yeah, a heel. Yeah, uh, but then but we've had some really interesting messages about people saying maybe that's not the case. It's about actions and reactions Ooh. and different sort of things like that. So let us know how wrong we are in the comments section of that video. Please we do. can take all the abuse you want to throw at us. Yeah. No drama here. <laughs> no, no drama here. <laughs> Do you want to take it outside? <laughs> You're banned from the arena. We'll have more wrestling news throughout the day and more drama, maybe not, at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you, bye. Oh, I wish the camera wasn't that far away so I could get face to face with you and have a have, a, have <laughs> it outside, you know? Have a go at your belt or shoes. Just get face to I don't know, CM Punk's a drama. A drama man. <laughs> a drama man. The drama llama. There he is. Good, goodbye.